my name is Laura from Brow House Beauty and today we have my client and we're gonna go over the whole process of microblading. All right, so the first thing that happens when a client gets here is we do numb the area with a topical lidocaine, which is what we're about to do. The topical numbing cream is then left on the area for about 20 to 25 minutes. We then proceed to removing and then cleaning the area. And as you can see, my client has very full and fluffy brows, but they are very sparse and she's lacking an arch and as some of the bottom of the brow. No eyebrows are symmetrical. Remember, our faces are non-symmetrical, so you always have one eyebrow that's higher than the other. In her case, it's looking like this one is higher than this one. And then you always have one brow that has more hair than the other eyebrows. My goal is to get them to look as symmetrical as possible. So now we're gonna proceed to mapping out the shape. Okay, so the outline almost always looks super scary as you can see because it looks super bold and dark. But after I microblade everything inside of the outline and we wipe all the ink off, you will see the final outcome. Are you nervous? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and we will now start the microblading process. So typically I stretch out the skin and we'll start from the front, taking it all the way to the back. All right, so we just did our outline and now we're gonna go ahead and fill. So I did apply more numbing spray just to help numb the area a little bit more. So what I'm doing now is just depositing some more ink throughout the whole eyebrow just so it could go ahead and sink in. And as you can see, they do bleed a little bit. Little to no blood is okay. So finally in our last step, I just go ahead and wipe off the brows. And so basically that is it. She has her new brow form, which is more symmetrical than before. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in and you'll just be able to see every stroke that we gave her to enhance her brow shape. So she was lacking a lot of arch and the bottom of her brow. And then we fix the front of her brow, but we do microblade the whole eyebrow with hair-like strokes. All 
All right, so now that she's all done with her microblading, did it hurt? It didn't hurt. It's very little to minimal pain and we do numb as we go. So my main objective is for the client to always feel comfortable. The process takes about one hour. We numb for about 20 minutes in the beginning and then we proceed to mapping everything out which takes about 10 to 15 minutes. And then the actual initial microblading takes about 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, so right after the microblading procedure, I typically get asked the same questions what to expect for the next four weeks and how to take care of my brows. You wanna avoid sweating of any kind, as well as the pressure from the shower heads. You are to cleanse your skin around the area. You wanna avoid the gym for about a week just to prevent the sweating from pushing out the ink that we inserted into every stroke. What to expect during your healing process. So your brows will typically feel a little bit sore an hour to two hours after the procedure. Day two and three, the eyebrows will appear a little bit darker than normal and thicker than normal. By day four, five, six, and seven, you'll experience a little bit of flakiness as well as a little bit of patchiness and your brows will start lightening up. Typically they lighten up about 50 to 60% lighter than the color that we initially went with today. So normally I always advise clients on your touch-up day, if needed or wanted, we can go a little bit darker. And on your touch-up day, we go over the whole brow again, and that is when you tend to hold a lot more of the pigment. So your touch-up day will be four weeks after the initial session. That is when your brows will be completely healed and ready for me to microblade them again. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you have any questions or concerns, please visit www.browhousebeauty.com. However, if the answers to your questions are not found on my website, please click on the contact me link. Thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.